Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell by the title today is a mango haul. I was just curious, I wanted to try out their bits. I actually received this like a week ago, I tried it on the day I got it and then I'm finally getting around to filming the sit down. So the box is massive. So let's just jump into it. So I may as well start with accessories since it's the first thing in the box. So I picked up this handbag. Now I've twisted the straps of course. If you're like me and you love gold jewellery, how perfect is this handbag? I absolutely love it and you can push it down so you can have just a long crossbody strap like that or you can have it over the shoulder and it's just got a little clip in here and it just opens up with two pockets obviously I've got the stuffing in it but I absolutely love it it reminds me a lot of the Valentino bag that I have been wanting for a long time now but I've not got around to getting so there's not much I can really say about this bag apart from I think it's quite a versatile, I say this every video, it's it's kind of a fancy bag but also like you could definitely wear this on a shopping trip if you're going out in the city, um, just a really nice handbag and I absolutely love it and as I said if you like your gold detailing I love that about this bag because I'm a gold jewellery kind of girl. So next up I got a pair of heels, these heels are most definitely not me at all so I will show you them I also didn't realize the price of these until after so I'm not gonna be keeping these because they're not worth me keeping them but they're these heels here like very not me but with this stuff I bought I kind of thought they would go quite well I bought a few skirts and dresses which I don't normally buy so I thought I'd get these just to try them out they're actually fairly comfortable I've got I don't have a wide foot but I've got a, it's a little bit wider than normal and it was a little bit tight around here but that will probably stretch over time but something to be aware of if you do have a wider foot Um, not much I can say about them just a simple heel that I just wanted to show and try them out but for the money they're not my kind of style so they won't be staying Okay, moving on to skirts. I got three skirts. As I said, skirts are not normally something I buy, but I thought I would step out my comfort zone. I've seen people wearing skirts over um, the kind of awesome period and I'm loving it. So, first I picked up this leather skirt. Sorry, I just put my button back. So I picked up this leather skirt, nothing too fancy, just an A-line skirt with pockets. Uh, I feel like that's like your kind of standard. So I picked this up in a size medium. I definitely would have got away with a size small. However, I often find with skirts, if they fit me around my waist, they're always riding up because my bum's bigger, which is why I got the size bigger. And I actually think, yeah, it's a little bit baggy, but maybe if I size down, it would be a little bit too small. So yeah. So I picked up the medium. I quite like the fit of the medium because it also means that I can eat as much food as I want and still get away with wearing this and looking reasonably comfortable but pretty self-explanatory leather skirt it's got like this soft um you know the lining all the full leather things have it does have that and it doesn't smell like fish and it's got back pockets as well I've moved the camera a little bit hopefully that's better better for me so next up I picked up a denim skirt that was in the sale. I've said it in about every single YouTube video recently. I'm going on holiday next month and I'm just going to a hot country, I'm going to Morocco. So I picked up this denim skirt because I was going to get myself some denim shorts. But then I saw this in like the perfect denim colour and it was on sale for 12 99 So I figured I may as well try this out because maybe I'll prefer a skirt. I don't know but I bought it anyway and again I bought this in a size medium again it is a little bit baggy it is a little bit baggy around my waist however I don't mind it 
I really don't mind it. Again, if you're going to a hot place wearing these kind of things, you don't want to be like suffocated. So I don't hate it at all. Okay, so next up is a skirt. Is it the kind of skirt I would normally wear? Not a chance. I don't know how I feel about it either, but it's here. Also, they did have a matching blazer. You'll see the screenshots of the product photo. I'm sure the blazer will be in that. And that's what I'm a bit upset about because, because, because I wanted this as a two piece, but the, by the time they'd got around to packaging my order, my, the blazer that I'd ordered had to go out of stock. So annoying, but we move. I still wanted to show the skirt. Surprisingly comfortable. I don't hate it on my body. Again, it's not very me. But I just want to show you, you obviously can't really see, yeah, you can kind of see there, it's like navy with striped detailing. So very subtle detailing. But I just want to pop it in and show you. So I'm going to show this top because I think I wore it with one of the skirts. Just a plain high neck soft top. This was a bit see through so I'm not going to keep this. Um, I can't remember how much it was but it is a really soft material and it is great for layering pieces. Like I'm over, over the winter time, not so much last year but the year before definitely, I wore high neck tops underneath my graphic tees just to keep some warmth in. And I kind of liked how it looked, and under sweatshirts and that as well. But this one's a bit see-through and I want to wear this on its own, kind of the way that I styled it for this video. So I'm not going to keep this, but I just want to chuck it in. So I'm not going to lie, I bought some things from the teen section and they fit me. So who's judging? So I picked up this jumper. How nice is it? And because it was in the teen section, it really was quite inexpensive. It's in this beigey colour, obviously it's got the two stripes. I think I've got, yeah, I've got a few more striped items in here. And you know what? Stripes are in fashion. So there you are. I also, I think I paired this with the denim skirt, which I thought was quite cute. But obviously like with trousers and leggings and just, you can style these kind of things multiple ways. It's not the thickest of jumpers, but it's quite good for this kind of transitional period. Like it's, it's not harsh. It's quite a soft knit and it's not itchy, which is, so bonus features all around. I picked up in a size medium and I actually think it fits me quite well considering it's from the teen section but I love the colour of it like obviously I like neutrals so this just fits for me perfectly. A perfect little autumnal piece. So next up I picked up another striped knitted jumper. Now this is from the women's not the kids. Um, A bit thicker so obviously it's a cream jumper with the stripes across the front a bit thicker it is much heavier and much softer than the jumper I showed you before and as I said earlier stripes are very in I kind of thought this with some black trousers from the office also jeans this with just leggings and little Uggs would be quite cute with like a big wool jacket versatile piece very soft I like the high neck because I think I'd probably wear it I'd probably wear it with a zip down but I do like that if it does get cold you can just zip it up and you're good to go. So I love this, I think it's really lovely and it feels amazing quality like I cannot fault the quality of this. So next up, I keep saying this but this really is not me at all but I thought like for the office this would be such a good piece so I wanted to show it. So I've picked up this dress here so I love this dress so much it is I was a bit worried that it would be too long on me because I don't like because I'm quite petite Um, I should say I'm five foot three for reference height reference and I'm normally like a size eight on the top ten on the bottom but I do tend to size up on the bottom because I don't like being restricted so I picked up this dress, it's got like an A-line hem at the bottom and the only thing I don't like about it is to keep the puff, it's got puff sleeves at the shoulder and to keep that up it's got hard mesh. Only thing I don't like about it because you can feel it and we all know I've got sensitive skin and I don't like that. However, easy fix, such an easy fix so it has not, if I want, if I bought this and wanted to wear it at work the shoulders wouldn't put me off because I could just cut them off um, 
or find a way to maybe put like a long sleeve top underneath so that I wouldn't feel them. So there's ways, there's loads of ways to fix that. But it's such a nice colour. I wore it with the heels that I got but I would normally wear it with like I think tights and boots for this one. But it's a really nice, it's not a thick material either which I think is perfect for this time of the year because the office is not going to be as cold as it is outside. Or that's the theory anyway. So it's nice to have a thinner piece especially if you're pairing it with um, tights and boots because you will add some layers onto that. I feel like I should have shown this piece with the, the jumpers because this is a knit jumper. The last three things are knitted, I'm not going to lie. But I bought this and I don't think I... Did I realise? I don't know. But this is navy. So it's got stripes in the bottom, stripes in the bottom of the sleeve and then it's got a stripe around the chest area. But it's in this kind of navy. So it's cream and navy and... Oh, there we go. Does that even look navy on the camera? Don't know, but it is navy. I promise you. So I'm kind of loving navy right now. I've got a little thing for navy. Just like, I was going to say subtly, but not really. I love it. Um, So I picked this up and because the navy isn't too obvious, I think you can still get away with wearing like black leggings with this. Or like you kind of Stradivarius have got like the grey blue leggings which would be quite nice with this if you want casual and obviously just tucked into jeans and a big wool coat and a big wool coat which is kind of your classic for autumn winter I love this season so I picked up this again if you had like a high neck top under that you could definitely put this in there this is from I got this in size small from the women's section because I have to say it now but if you actually watch my next haul after this, I bought a pair of navy leggings. So I think this will look really cute together. So I'm so excited to style this. So last but not least, I've got two items but they are part of a co-ward set and I loved them when I saw them. So I had to get them, try them out and see what I thought. So I'll start with the jumper. So I bought the jumper in a size small. It is just... I want to say nothing fancy. It's got a crew neck. It's a really soft knit. So it's not ribbed knit. It's just a soft, soft knit. And then it's just goes down to just past the bum, I think. And it's in this kind of bluey grey colour. I don't know what they call it. This is down as a pyjama set. So not really pyjamas, but like a loungewear set. But you could definitely like put on some trainers and wear this out of the house. So that's the jumper. Obviously you can wear this with like leggings and boots and a jacket. You can wear it as a normal jumper or if you're wearing it as the cord set they also have wide leg trousers. Now these fit me way better than I thought. Trousers because I'm quite petite trousers tend to be a bit difficult. These fit me amazingly like they're not how do I describe this? Well, you'll see in the try on clip, but I, from memory anyway, they weren't too long. They fitted me quite well around the waist and the thighs, and I think I got this in a size small. Yeah, and I normally size up in these kind of things, but I just wanted to see how comfortable it would be. And actually, I was pleasantly surprised. I'd be absolutely fine wearing this. And I just think for, like, travelling or if you work from home, sets like these, actually, if you work from home, I think are so nice because they're a bit nicer than your normal loungewear. Or like your normal tracksuits and you just seem a bit more put together and if anything you feel more put together so i absolutely love so that was everything for my mango haul thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video